It's Friday and you know how we like to have a little bit of fun on Friday. So today's activity is a little bit different. We're going to do some PE, but perhaps not PE like you've seen it before. We're going to do some target practice. Now, for this, you will need some newspaper or just large paper. You will need some scissors and some sellotape. And you will need some paper. And you may also need some blue tack, although masking tape or tape would work as well. So, what we're going to do is we are going to make a paper plane target practice. Now, I am sat in a doorway, and you will need a doorway too, or perhaps table legs, between two table legs, or just between two chairs, completely up to you, but I'm going to do mine in a doorway. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make my paper fit in my doorway. And now I've already measured this out and worked out that actually one and a half sheets of newspaper is the perfect width for a doorway. So I'm just going to go ahead and tape these together. So I'm going to tape it halfway across. So I've got one and one and a half sheets together. Now it's important to remember to turn it over and take the other side too so you haven't got lots of flappy bits. Okay, so now I have my newspaper attached together so I know that it fits across the length of my doorway. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna start at the bottom of my doorway because I need room to be able to crawl or slide underneath. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start it probably about this far up my doorway and I'm going to blue tack the sides so it stays up on my doorway. This is where if you've got masking tape you may want to use masking tape but be very careful and make sure you ask an adult that you watch the paint on your walls. So I'm using a blue tack. Okay so now I've blue tacked one up I'm just going to go ahead and put the other two above as well. You may need an adult if you can't reach. Okay, so now I have a doorway still with wiggle room underneath so I can get through and I have created this barrier. Now with your scissors, what you're going to do now is you're going to really carefully create some holes about the size of your hand in the newspaper. You could do this before you put it on the door if that's going to be easier. However, you're going to want to make sure you spread them out far enough apart from each other. So, let's make some holes. Okay, so as you can see, I've made one, two, whoop, three holes. Now, you can make as many holes as you like. I would probably make more than three if I were you, but it's completely up to you. You can make some holes huge, you can make some a little smaller. However, you've got to make sure they put, can fit a paper aeroplane through them. So, now it's time to use your other paper and it's time to make a paper aeroplane. So I'm just going to make a simple paper aeroplane. So I'm going to take my piece of paper and fold it in half long ways. And then I'm going to fold down one of the front corners to one side so it looks like a triangle and then I'm going to fold down the other corner to the other side so it still looks like a triangle and then I'm going to fold half down to meet at the bottom so now I've got half down to meet at the bottom so it looks like this then I'm going to fold the other side the other way to meet at the straight bottom again and there we go, got myself a nice simple paper aeroplane. Now at this point you want to check that your paper aeroplane fits through all the holes that you have created. Mine didn't quite fit so what I actually did was I folded again the wings over so they were even thinner and now you are good to go. So you can make this into a game, you can play with some on the other side and what you've got to do is you've got to try and aim and throw your paper aeroplane through the hole you created. I think I'm gonna start with this bottom hole and see how long it takes me. You can make it harder, yay! You can make it harder by moving further away. You could give them scores. You could do all sorts of things with it. So, I hope you have fun. 
Don't forget to take videos and photos so we can see what you've been up to. And you enjoy today's PE Friday madness. Bye!